welcome to our channel Pack Medical Stream. Today we will discuss the last topic of the sterilization which is the chemical sterilization. Uh, for the chemical sterilization we have some uh, chemicals we, by which we will use, the, uh, use them for the chemical sterilization which, are, which include alcohol, aldehyde, phenol, halogen, oxidizing agents, salts, dyes and the uh, vapor phase agents. In alcohol we have some uh, alcohol which are ethyl alcohol isopropyl isopropyl so the methyl alcohol methyl alcohol these are some alcohols uh, by which we will do the chemical sterilization it acts by denaturing the bacterial proteins it denatures the bacterial proteins denature the bacterial proteins uh, it is used as a skin antiseptic it is used as a skin antiseptic. We have a two types of aldehyde, formaldehyde and a butyl aldehyde. Formaldehyde and butyl aldehyde. These have a formaldehyde have a the aldehydes have a bactericidal and a virucidal activity. Formaldehyde will use for the preservation of the histological tissue. So, it is used for the histological tissues preservation. And also for the preparation of the bacterial vaccines. And it is used for the preparation of the toxide from toxins. It is used for the preparation of the toxins. So how we will prefer, uh, prepare the toxic, toxic. Uh, first we will take the toxin from the bacteria, we will remove the pathogenicity activity of the toxin and then it is converted to the toxide which is, a use, which is used as a disinfectant for the um, for some time for, for condition. So this is about the formaldehyde and uh, glyteraldehyde is uh, less toxic, uh, formaldehyde is high toxic, glyteraldehyde is less toxic than formaldehyde it is uh, um, it is very uh, irritant to our eyes and the skin so it is irritant to eyes and skin it is used for the uh, cleaning and sterilization of the endoscopes bronchoscopes and the cystoscopes endoscopes bronchoscopes and the cystoscopes so this is about the aldehyde. Next phenol. Phenol, Lister is the, Lister is the father of the uh, antiseptic surgery who, invert, who invented the use of the phenols which is also called as a carboxylic acid. Carboxylic acid. So phenols, phenols is also called as a carboxylic acid. It is, uh, the activity of phenols is maintained and it is, uh, it affects by the, um, breaking the cell membrane it breaks the cell membrane breaks the cell membrane so when it breaks the cell membrane the cell contents uh, is released outside and it is lysed by our cells so phenol act, phenol is a disinfectant it is also used as a skin uh, disinfectant so phenol is something uh, it it is also known as a carboxylic acid and it breaks a cell membrane it uh, if the cell has a membrane, so it breaks this cell membrane and the cells um, uh, cells come out of the cell membrane and it, it is lysed by the disinfectant. So this is about the phenols. In halogens, we have a uh, two types of halogens, uh, chlorine and uh, iodine. Chlorine and iodine. Chlorine uh, has some uh, sporous uh, bactericidal and virucidal activity and also some amount of a uh, sporocidal activity. Chlorine, chlorine is uh, also act as a bleaching powder which we will use in a swimming pools, water. Mostly, mostly we will use a, a blow, bleaching powder in a swimming pools. Uh, we have some uh, hypochloride agents. Hypochloride agents when mixed with the chlorine it form a Hypochlorous acid. <coughs> Hypo, hypochlorites. When mixed with the chlorine, 
it form hypochlorous acid hypochlorous acid so this hypochloric acid is act as a disinfectant even uh, for the hiv material we will use a hypochloric acid so uh, when hypochlorates act with the chlorine they form a hypochlorous acid which is highly uh, which releases a high amount of ox, uh, acid which react with the uh, bacteria and it act as a disinfectant iodine iodine is used as a skin disinfectant so iodine mostly we will use in a uh, hospitals also and for the cleaning purpose it is used as a skin skin disinfectant it is alcohol in nature iodine is alcohol in nature it it has a bactericidal activity and uh, uh, it has a it has a bactericidal activity and also some amount of a sporicidal it has a it has a bactericidal activity it is uh, active even for the mycobacterium tuberculosis so it is active for the mycobacterium tuberculosis this is about the halogens which include a chlorine and the iodine next we will discuss about the oxidizing agents <coughs> oxidizing agent include hydrogen peroxide per acetic acid and the plasma sterilization hydrogen peroxide has a bactericidal activity at a 3 to 6 percent concentration if we increase the concentration up to 10 to 20 percent it may act even as a sporicidal activity so if we increase the concentration of hydrogen peroxide it may act even on a spores so it acts as a sporicidal activity. Per acetic acid is also used for the anti uh, used as anti uh, antibacterial substance. It is used mostly for the plasma sterilization. Now plasma sterilization include a in plasma sterilization plasma refer as a gas so which contain a um, which contain electrons and uh, neutrons and uh, ions so plas in plasma sterilization plasma here plasma refers to the gas which contain the neutrons electrons and the ions as it is a gas it required the device so this device has a hydrogen peroxide and the per acetic acid so these combined with the plasma and it evolves the rays which are a uv rays uh, which act as a highly toxic even on a sporicidal activity it act as a bactericidal and also even as a sporicidal activity so in plasma sterilization hydrogen peroxide and per acetic acid uh, combined with the plasma to form a some uh, rays or a gas which form a uv rays or a gas uh, which have a uh, bactericidal and the uh, uh, sporicidal activity this is about the oxidizing agents Next we have a salts. In salts we have a heavy metals like a copper, mercury chloride, copper, mercury chloride, mercury chloride, and uh, mercurochrome. And mercurochrome. Salts have a disinfectant activity and also act on a bactericidal activity. Mercury chloride, mercury chloride is a highly toxic, whereas a mercurochrome is a less toxic. So mercury chrome is a less toxic and it is a highly and mercury chloride is highly toxic. Next we'll have a surface agents. Surface agent, surface agent has some surfactants which act as a disinfectants, which are cations, anions, and the amphoteric substance. These cations mostly act on an alkaline nature. So it act on an alkaline nature. It has a bactericidal activity and also some sporicidal activity. But in anions, anions uh, examples are the soaps uh, which are highly detergent. So it has a detergent activity more than the uh, antibacterial substance. So it is highly detergent. It is highly detergent. 
but it has a less antibacterial antimicrobial agent so it does not anions does not have a more power to kill the bacteria uh, when comparing to the cations now we have an amphoteric substance which include both the combination of the anion and the uh, cations as it is an amphoteric substance as it is maintaining the cations and the anions uh, capacity it has a, a more antibacterial nature and also it is a um, it is a detergent plus uh, detergentic and also it has a antibacterial antibacterial agent so it can kill the uh, bacteria and also it has some um, soapy agent detergent so it has a detergent uh, activity and it has a antibacterial antimicrobial or antibacterial substance anions they are uh, mostly uh, kill they can kill the gram positive bacteria but not a gram negative bacteria gram negative uh, gram negative bacteria need more uh, toxicity to uh, kill in amphoteric substance it can kill the gram negative bacteria and also the gram positive bacteria next we have this is about the surfactant agents next we have the dyes uh, dyes we have a acrinine dye and a alanine dye acrinine dye has a examples of acrinine dye are a malachite green and a uh, crystal violet crystal violet we will use for the gram staining uh, purpose alanine dye include euflavin proflavin which are some examples so these uh, these two dyes have a more mostly they affect the gram positive bacteria than gram negative bacteria next we have a vapor phase disinfectant Mostly vapor phase disinfectants are gas properties. We have a formaldehyde gas. Formaldehyde gas. Ethylene oxide. Ethylene oxide. And BPF. Uh, which is a beta propionic acid. So uh, under the vapor phase disinfectants we have a formaldehyde gas and ethylene oxide and the BPF. Formaldehyde gas we will use for the fumigation in the uh, Otis operation theatres and also in the laboratories. In Otis, uh, in operation theatres, we will use for the sterilization of a complete roof uh, so that we can do the procedures. Here, 1500 potassium permanganate is used for, is mixed with the 200 ml of formalin. To induce the formaldehyde gas. gas. Um, for the formaldehyde gas, we have to mix the 1500 of potassium permanganate to the 200 ml of formalin, we, uh, which can uh, sterile up to the 1000 cubic meter of the area of the uh, room. Uh, this is highly toxic. This is highly toxic. And it it uh, it releases the more amount of a heat. It releases the more amount of heat so that to prevent the explosion and uh, to uh, to uh, to prevent the more heat, we will use the heat resistance here in a room. So formaldehyde uh, formaldehyde gas is a highly toxic and it induces the more heat. So to balance the amount of a heat, we will use the heat resistance in the uh, by heat resistance uh, during the use of the formaldehyde gas. And also, when uh, it is highly irritant, also it has a irritant activity, it, uh, it can irritate to our eyes and the skin. So, when we induce the when we release the formaldehyde gas to in the operation theater, the door must be closed for a 48 hours for the complete sterilization. And after the sterilization uh, process, completion of the sterilization process, we have to neutralize it with the ammonium gas. No ammonium gas. <coughs> we have to neutralize it with the ammonium gas uh, to uh, to prevent the uh, to prevent the irritation or uh, toxicity of the formaldehyde gas. This is about the formaldehyde gas. Next, ethylene oxide. Ethylene oxide is highly toxic and uh, it has a deeper penetrating power. Uh, 
uh, it is not useful for the fumigation because due to the highly toxic activity it can uh, has it has explosive nature so it uh, it has explosive nature so it is not used for the fumigation purpose it is used for the sterilization of the inflammable substance and uh, for the dental procedures and uh, for the it is used for the rubber materials this this does not used for the fumigation as it is highly explosive in nature next we have a beta propyl beta propylactin so this is a disinfectant which is useful for uh, which can which has a less toxic activity than the ethylene oxide so it has a less toxic level and it can be used for the fumigation it can be used for the fumigation but it has a drawback as it can it has more uh, amount of the it, it releases the more carcinogenic agents so it it releases the carcinogenic agents so as it releases the carcinogenic activity it is a drawback so that we we cannot or uh, uh, mostly we won't choose the beta propylactin for the fumigation so this is about the vapor phase disinfectants which include the formaldehyde gas ethylene oxide and the ppl this is about the chemical sterilization of uh, uh, chemicals by using a chemicals which include aldehyde uh, alcohol phenol halogen oxidizing agents and uh, vapor phase disinfectants salts and also dyes so by using these uh, different type of uh, chemicals we will use a uh, we will we will do the sterilization we we have finished the sterilization which include a physical and the chemical sterilization physical again we have a heat uh, dry heat moist heat and uh, filtration uh, filtration radiation uh, this that is about the uh, physical properties and in chemical we have uh, done today with the use of a chemical this class i am planning to provide a study material or a, a notes for the topics which i have discussed in our class i think this is more beneficial and uh, if you have any doubts let me know in the comment section please like share and subscribe to paramedical stream for our new videos thank you